Okay, so here's a great idea. Take the world's most valuable asset, the thing people call digital gold, and turn it into a permanent junk drawer that nobody can ever clean out. Brilliant, right? Well, that's basically what some Bitcoin developers are trying to do with this proposed update to the Bitcoin network. Up until now, Bitcoin had a little field called OP return. Think of it like a sticky note you can attach to a transaction. The limit was 80 bytes. Just enough to timestamp something, leave a goofy message, or if you're boring, add metadata. It was harmless, like doodling on the corner of a ledger. But now, core devs want to raise it to 100,000 bytes. It's like going from a shot glass to a filthy swimming pool full of spam and malware. Suddenly, people can stuff actual files in the blockchain. Images, video, audio clips, whatever nightmare fuel they want. And because Bitcoin's blockchain is permanent, that data lives there forever. If it goes in, it's never coming out. Every node will have to download and store it, like a digital hoarder show. So why are they doing this? Supposedly to fight minor centralization. See, right now, miners can secretly accept these oversized transactions while everybody else's nodes filter them out. So the plan is, let everybody drown in the same garbage equally. That's like solving a rat problem by setting your whole house on fire. Here's why you, the average Bitcoiner, should care. First, legal danger. Someone definitely will upload something illegal. Exploitation material, violent images, the absolute worst. Once it's there, you as a node runner are technically hosting it. Governments don't care about your decentralization speech. Running a node could suddenly mean legal trouble. Second, reputation disaster. Regular people won't care about the technical details. They'll just hear Bitcoin and illegal content. We've seen this before with BSV, Satoshi's vision. They raised their limit and guess what? Garbage flooded in. Now BSV is like a meme coin everyone laughs at. Do you really want BTC to share that fate? Third, technical fallout. Big files slow everything down. They raise costs for node operators. Smaller independent nodes will quit. And fewer nodes equals more centralization. They're fixing centralization by literally making it worse. So what's the upside here? Basically, devs get a trophy for openness while you get to watch your portfolio nosedive. All because someone thought it would be funny to upload a cursed MP4. Bitcoin is supposed to be money, not a trash bin for the internet's worst data. If this goes through, the only thing truly decentralized will be the panic selling. Luckily, there's a solution to this problem called Bitcoin Knots. I made a video on it. Go check it out. And if you like these quick, simple crypto breakdowns, you can hit subscribe or support our work by sending a tip. We truly appreciate all the incredible support. It allows us the freedom and resources to generate this kind of content. We couldn't do it without you. So thank you.